So many Americans are grappling with fevers, coughs, sore throats, but they're testing negative for COVID, for the flu, and for RSV. Now doctors are trying to figure out if there's a mysterious illness going around. For more on this, I want to bring in Dr. Bernard Caymans. He is the medical director of infection prevention at the Mount Sinai Health System in New York. Uh, thanks for joining us this morning. So, you know, people are talking about this, that they're sick, but, they, you know, they, they do a COVID test. That's what we all do automatically. Nothing's coming up. And I couldn't figure out if calling this a mysterious illness, if it just made for good headlines, or if there really is a mystery here. What's going on? Uh, first of all, thank you very much for inviting me, Ms. Green. Um, and I, I think you are right. It's not really a mystery illness. It's probably other respiratory viruses. As as you know, winter uh, is a re respiratory viral season. And that while um, there were, there's been a lot of attention paid to COVID and the flu and even RSV this year, RSV has been around for a long time, right? It's been... Um, uh, has become an issue before in the past, but it just we just haven't seen this much RSV in, mm. in, 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 in the community. Plus, we're actually testing more, right? We were testing more for RSV this season than ever before. Um, so while uh, there are other, these are the main three that we talk about, there are other viruses such as the rhinovirus, which causes the common cold, right? Uh, and that they can also cause the same symptoms as covid or flu, fever is not as common with rhinovirus, but uh, it is still possible, so people may actually have that. Other uh, viruses, the human uh, metanumovirus, uh, parainfluenza, um, those are can also cause, uh, and also adenovirus, I failed to mention, which is the same virus that causes pink eye or conjunctivitis. Uh, it's commonly uh, linked with that, but it can also cause upper respiratory symptoms that can then explain why people are testing negative for COVID or uh, flu or even RSV, but yet have respiratory symptoms. The last part is, unless you're doing a PCR test, um, you know, the antigen testing um, for COVID is not that great, right? So mm. uh, potentially you can have a false negative. Uh, that's a whole lot of stuff to worry about. Uh, who are we seeing getting sick? I think at this point, we're still seeing uh, people coming in with flu and COVID, right? Um, and these are patients who would normally have issues before the pandemic. Uh, they would be the same older population with comorbidities who then who then can, can get much sicker with flu are the same ones who are still at high risk for COVID despite uh, complication for COVID despite being vaccinated. Um, our, our, for RSV, actually, it actually um, targets more uh, younger kids, so uh, uh, babies who are less than two years old and also um, senior citizens. So, again, the same group that are at risk for complications from flu and COVID. Okay, so we know that there are all manner of other respiratory illnesses that have always been around. Uh, but, of course, we've got sort of the triple demic that we're also dealing with. I just kept on thinking, you know, Post-holiday, we know this pattern already. People gather. We're going to see spikes. So I want to ask you, you know, what do you predict we will see in the next couple of months in regards to these respiratory illnesses? Well, we're hoping that um, because uh, gatherings are not going to be as common anymore that we will see that they will decline. Mm. But it doesn't mean that they they will not be there I think the best advice I can give is that, you know, the CDC is now recommending uh, people wear masks again indoors, uh, especially if you're in the crowd. Um, and, and that's really the advice because of COVID, right? But the same can be said about other respiratory viruses. If you, if um, uh, wearing a mask actually prevents the transmission of other respiratory viruses as well. And then the other thing would be for people if you do have fevers and upper respiratory symptoms, even if you test negative for COVID or the flu, thinking that I've already mentioned there are other viruses that can cause this, um, it may be uh, advisable for people to stay home if they can mm -hmm. or if they're out to wear a mask, right? So they're less contagious. Dr. Uh, Bernard Caymans, simple, clear advice that's effective. Thank you very much. Thank you.